Hello, this is Xuan Song. Uh, it is my second prep in um, D Day 12. After 12 days, I'm going to take the IDP bench test. And for this time, I'm going to pre I'm going to prep this toclusal class two amalgam on the tooth number five. <laughs> So before I prep the tooth, let's plan first. Okay, here we can see that um, this num tooth number 5 has a very large uh, area of tooth contact with the adjacent tooth, which is number 4. So I have to have five, uh, 0 0.5 millimeter of clearance. 0 0.5 um, millimeter of clearance, vocality, linguality, and also gingivality, right? So the gingival floor will be 0 0.5 millimeter away from the adjacent tooth and 0 0.5 away from the uh, um, this surface adjacent tooth. So it'll be like this, and it must have a uh, 90 degree acute angle, uh, 90 degree angle, right angle, 90 degree here also, and the uh, internal internally, the contour must also follow the con uh, this is this contour, right? So it'll also have 90 degree, right? And uh, distance between the this distance between the um, this surface from this surface to this surface should be at least one point like uh, Dr. Stevenson says 1.1 to 1.5 and the distance between the adjacent tooth from adjacent tooth to here should be about 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 and this is the empty space right and the clearance must be 0 0.5 millimeter okay so uh, since it has a um, cusp here we avoid touching the cusp, removing the cusp, make the gentle and very stiff S curve, and we include here the distal fossa, making dovetail like this, and we connect it. Gently flowing nicely. Okay, so it looks very ideal, right? How can I go back? Okay, by pressing ESC. And this width, the east bit must must be how many millimeter? One millimeter. And the dovetail must be 1.5 millimeter and the, the depth must be at least how many millimeters 1.5 millimeters okay so that we can have adequate 
amount of the depth of the amalgam to resist uh, from the occlusal force. It will not break. And this here, it is a very important thing. Um, I, I sometimes, like it is very easy to be neglect this important principle and um, prepping the tooth here, I need to bevel the actual pulpal line angle for um, the amalgam to uh, not to be fractured. Right? So I have to have good bevel here and the beveling the uh, gingival Gingiva line angle here is optional. Okay, so let's prep the tooth. Okay, so let's evaluate <coughs> my preparation. Um, let's see, you score me, okay? <laughs> so here I got a nice dovetail. Well, it looks, in my eyes, it is nice. You see, it has um, adequate, um, adequate length, 0 0.5, and the smooth is also one millimeter i can check it by scrapping with the uh, hatchet nml hatchet which is one millimeter so it just passes is um, isthmus so i can assure that it is one millimeter and for the proximal box it is uh, nice uh, nicely curved right and this is a flat and smooth nice but if it could like flow from here to here it would look much better mm, but one thing that is uncomfortable uh, remains uncomfortable is that like here i was not able to clear it very well Be because like when you prep on the phantom head there is a rubber cheek i cannot hatch it here i cannot uh, smoothen this wall nicely with this enamel hatchet which is very sharp and nice so i was having hard time i i also knew that here it has a wing wing right do you see the wing which is hanging there and it has not been smoothened and it is uh, it is in the way of clearance making 0 0.5 clearance so I wanted to remove it so I tried to use a small burr and even needle diamond burr to remove it but i didn't have enough time i took almost 15 minutes to prep this i don't know whether it is enough time but i was not able to do that okay so I'm let's evaluate my, my fiance <clears throat> says my preparation it, why don't you do um Let's see. You score me, okay? <laughs> so, so uh, next here time I'll I got a nice well dovetail. To to trim well, this, it looks, uh, in my eyes, it is nice. Of this, the see, it edge. has um, adequate. Okay. Um, adequate. So let's unscrew and length. see. Zero point five. The proximal box is also one thing that I found 
millimeter. Um, watching I can Dr. check it Stephen's by scrapping with uh, the video is that uh, hatchet animal hatchet, which is one uh, millimeter. Why don't so it he just unscrew the tooth is, um, and show the proximal box isthmus. because so, so I can assure that um, it is one millimeter. Very well. And, and I for the proximal, the proximal box, box, it is uh, this nice, uh, no, nicely that he curved. Do he does right? And this is See, flat and I smooth, nice. But uh, if it could, the proximal box like is low not from nice. here to here. You can see that it, it doesn't it have a perpendicular, perpendicular. Mm, uh, but one thing, box, right? That is. It has uncomfortable. Been uh, remains uh, uncomfortable is that converged uh, here. It is not. I was diverging, not able to. But clear this, it. Uh, this one is very okay. well as uh, being uh, since it is a functional cusp. Like it when must you have on the little bit of divergence, there is a rubber side needs to be I perpendicular. Hatchet here no. floor. I cannot so I uh, smooth this, this wall nicely so I'm with this animal hatchet, again, which is a very sharp and, and nice. How much I have improved. So I was having hard time. See you in the I, next I video. I also knew that here it has a wing, wing right? Do you see the wing, which is hanging there, and it has not been smoothened, and it is. Uh, it is in the way of clearance, making 0 0.5 clearance. So I wanted to remove it, so I tried to use a small burr and even needle diamond burr to remove it, but I didn't have enough time. I took almost 15 minutes to prep this. I don't know whether it is enough time, but I was not able to do that. Hamindeji, my my fiance says, just do it. Why don't you do? I know it. That is different. So uh, next time, I'll try to use like gingival margin trimmer to trim this uh, corner of this the the edge. Okay. So let's unscrew and see the proximal box. One thing that I felt um, watching Dr. Stevenson's uh, video is that uh, why don't he unscrew the tooth and show the proximal box? Because uh, um, he prepped very well and I want to see the proximal this works uh, works that he he do he does see I uh, this uh, proximal box is not that nice you can see that it doesn't have a perpendicular perpendicular uh, box right it has been con um, Converged, it is not diverging, but this uh, this one is okay. As uh, being, uh, since it is a functional cusp, it must have a little bit of divergence. But this side needs to be perpendicular to the floor, so I missed this part. So I'm going to prep this tooth once again and see how much I have improved. See you in the next video.